Good afternoon, everyone. Nice being here. It's a nice setup. An excellent seat. This is Tiffany Good and Mr. Good. Honorable Director of Arts, Minister of Culture, Youth Sports and Community Development. Honorable Cassandra Williams, Honorable Minister of State, in the Minister of Health, Welfare, Wellness and Social Services. Our centenarian, other government officials, family, relatives, the friends, I am indeed privileged and it's an honor to be hosting this segment of our big celebration. At this time, we have a slight, I was just informed that we are not going to do the national anthem because we have already done it in the church. So, we'll go, yeah, as chairman, I will say welcome everyone, but the official welcome. Our remarks will be done by Mr. Clifford Matthew, son of our centenarian. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> See, so we, I know what it is. Uh, sorry about that. Opening prayer. Father, I'm sorry about that. Fills you, fills your life with joy, be with you always. Each year, as we celebrate another birthday, we recall the gift of life which we have received from God. Today, we give thanks for our sister who is celebrating her birthday today, um, on Tuesday, and we ask the Lord, the Lord God, for grace and mercy in her life. Psalm 90. Before the mountains were begotten. And the earth and the world were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Teach us to number all days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servant. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Make us glad for the days when you afflicted us, for the years when we saw evil. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by the children. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of your servant, Joseph Pascal, who recalls today her birth and rejoices in your gifts of life and love, family and friends. Bless her with your presence and surround her with your love, and she may enjoy many, many. Many, many happy years, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this for Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. And so, you can be. Can take your seats. Yeah. I see the smile is on Clifford's here. I know he is a happy man this afternoon. Mr. Matthew, welcome us officially. Father, 
Thank you, Representative, for a morning message and right for the constituency. Parish priest, Father Francis Silver. President of the Council of Aging, local government representatives, friends, family, well wishes. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. How refreshing it is and how and what a delight to see such a wonderful crowd, beautifully adorned, who have gathered here for such a momentous occasion. The celebration of 100th birthday of my mom, Murphy Finn, fondly known Cousin Finn, Auntie Finn, Nelly Finn. Miss Josephine Pascal. Just want to welcome you. It's just so good to see so many of you here today. Looking so beautiful. For guest of honor, Miss Josephine Pascal. Though she may appear petite in physical stature, is a huge giant of a woman. Amen. You will agree with me. Amen. I the sheer numbers of you who have shown us to celebrate with her. It is just such a blessing, so inspiring. As the time goes on, you will, uh, the, a little bit further in the program, you will get to hear more about her, our guest of honor. You'll hear a little bit about, about the person, the kind of person that she is, that she has been. Her character, her personality. So we'll get to, to know a little bit more for those of you who are not yet familiar. But she's a very, very, very familiar person. Very well known, very well loved in the community. So once again, I just want to thank you very much. Sit tight. And we are going to have a wonderful time. We are going to have a, 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 a glorious time here this afternoon as we celebrate this Milestone of milestones. So once again, welcome. Yes, thank you, Mr. Matthew, for such a better way to get this thing going. I also want to, a lot of people would like to be here, but through technology, you are also part of it because we want to appreciate the, that evil news is carrying this life. So, we, those of you who couldn't be there physically, I know you're there spiritually, you see, you're enjoying every bit of it. Thanks for technology. Also, ladies and gents, I must say, I mean, anytime there is a centenarian in Grand Form, I feel good. Because the first centenarian in Grand Form was my grandfather. All right, men's coffee. And today, that's the eighth centenarian. So when the History book will be written again about Dominica. We will stand up high. Grand form with the most centenarian in the Commonwealth of Dominica. Oh, that's, that's good. That's a milestone for the community. And we are very proud of that. So at this time, I will call on Mr. Nigel Lawrence, representative of the Dominica Council on Aging, for a brief speech. Mr. Lawrence. This stage, it's always a pleasure to invite our parliamentary representative and the Minister of Youth, Culture, Sports and Community Development, Ms. Greta Reports, to address us. Lady before us, a woman who has lived a long life, 
a woman who makes us all proud, a woman we can all look to as a lesson to be learned in the community. Earlier, Mama has always told us that there is a poem, all the world's a stage, and all men and women are merely players. And we would sit and repeat that poem with her. And later on, as she went on in years, I would sit on the bed with her and we would go through the poem. But what the poem was trying to do is to explain to us how you go through life and the stages. And he mentioned seven stages that you must go through in life. But then he ended with one saying, you live this world so teeth, so eyes, so ears. Once the poem was written in English, he wrote some, what we know is nothing or without. And Mama would laugh and tell me, that poet did not think of her because she can live this world with her teeth, with her eyes, and with her ears. And this is what we see today. And this tells us of the complex blessings that the Lord showers on his people. And for you to have lived such a long life, the Lord has indeed blessed you. So, Miss Josephine, nothing, all the things we call you, tell yourself today that you are blessed. And this is an embodiment of grace. Because Father is there, I see Jews there, all the holy people. This tells you that sometimes the Lord showers upon us those blessings. But we can use them as a guide to us. Because they have lived through the trials and the tribulations of life. And they are history. Because they can tell us what they have been through to guide us. So when we get to those times, we can sit and say, this is just something I have to go through in life. And she is there. Youthfulness. This lady can go from around 100 years. And I looked at you in church. Mommy, you sat down when you were singing that song, um, the last one, the Thanksgiving hymn. To God be the glory, not to God be the glory. All the gifts of life. But she raised her hand. And it's like, mercy God faith. Thank you, Papa God. And this is what we must do as people. Thank God for everything in our life. Trials will come. This is just life. If life were better of roses, none of us would look to the Father. At least we have somebody we can turn to when we need the action. But throughout the life, we have to give God praise. And this is what we have to do. Celebrating the long life of this beautiful woman. And I call you a successful woman in a way. Because another poem my mom and I always used to go through. If I have a poem when you live with people for a long time. Especially when you deal with elderly people. And again we celebrate you know, you know, that you want to that. You see how you are blessed? But then the poem speaks to a successful person. And listen well, a person who has achieved success is one who has lived well, one who has laughed often, one who loved much. He just loved being part of the world, loved his family, loved his friends, loved all those around him. Forget the reason, because this relates to both man and woman. A person who has gained the respect of intelligent men and women and the love of little children. One who has filled his niche and accomplished his task. A person who is prepared to leave the world better than he found it, whether by an improved flower, a perfect fair poem, or a rescued soul. One who has never lacked appreciation of the beauty of the earth or failed to express it. 
one who has always looked for the good in others and given them the best that he had, whose life remains an inspiration, whose memory when he's gone will be a blessing. Amen. This is what I ask for you. You have been successful. You have everything going for you. You have your family with you. Not too many people are blessed in that way. And you have the entire community this afternoon to celebrate with you. So one and all, let us all celebrate and give thanks to God that we in Grand Fork can celebrate a hundred years. This is not something too many communities get a chance to do. But it's because we are blessed in this area. And those who are visiting, don't think I'm living you out. Just by coming to Grand Fork, you have added so years to your life. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone have a blessed afternoon. Let's celebrate together. And let us continue to love one another so that we all can live to this right old age and still look as young as this young lady here. Blessed afternoon to you. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Just have to change my position because he says he wants to send something good to the outside world, so we want a big background, nice background, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, and you know, I always advocate, always advertise the village of nature and culture. That's what Brentford is. And that's why we produce it all the centenarians. All right, and anytime you come to Grand Fork, you always want to come back. And I know those of you who come there for the first time, you'll want to come back again. And we always welcome everyone to Grand Fork. Yeah, you know, that's the gift God gave us to welcome everybody, in Dominicans or non-Dominicans. That's just the nature of Grand Fork. Yeah, at this time, I will call on Dr. Cassandra Williams, Honorable Minister of State in the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Social Services. extraordinary milestone, 100 years of life, love, and incredible experiences. It is a rare occasion that brings us all together, a moment to reflect on a century filled with remarkable stories, resilience, and the joy of living. I'm deeply honored to be here to commemorate this occasion with you because I am a strong believer in recognizing those who have set the foundations for generations to come. And especially now, in my capacity as Minister of State, with responsibility for senior citizens, I am an advocate for those whose roles in society may have changed over the years, but whose contributions are invaluable. Ms. Josephine Pascal, today we honor you not just for reaching this incredible age, but for the countless lives you've touched along the way. Your journey began on 10th September 1924, a time when the world was so terribly different. Over the past 100 years, you have witnessed tremendous changes, advancements in technology, healthcare, and education, shifts in culture, and the ups and downs of our cherished nation. Coming from a large family, I understand 10 siblings, nine of whom are deceased, Ms. Pascal's life is a testament to resilience, adaptability, and strength. She worked very hard to raise her three sons and two daughters. She would go to any lengths to ensure the stability of her family. She was employed as a cook for the priests at Saint Sauveur and Rosalie Catholic churches and then worked with the men who cleaned the roadsides. 
a true breadwinner and nurturer. Her volunteerism is evidence of her dedication to serving those around her. She was an avid member of the Social League during its heyday and was its president for several years. How many of you remember that? Anybody old enough to remember? <laughs> the group raised chickens and grew vegetables that they sold to the community. I remember my grandmother, Paulina Williams, was part of that Social League group as well. Gardening was her passion. She would spend hours in her backyard garden and use some of her produce to make local wine, which she sold to villagers. Ms. Pascal has been a source of wisdom and guidance for so many who all have cherished memories of her, each one a piece of history, a lesson, or a laugh. As a mother and community leader, she has shown what it means to give selflessly. She has built a legacy of love. Her family is a reflection of the values she holds dear and has instilled in each of them. Today, we honor the love that you, Ms. Pascal, have given and continue to give. You have taught the importance of kindness, perseverance, and the simple joie de vivre. Reaching this age is not just about the years lived, but also the moments cherished. It's about relationships crafted and nurtured over time, memories made together, and the love that surrounds you today. That love is evident in the smiling faces that surround you today. Each person here is a witness of the story of your life and legacy and we celebrate the richness you have contributed to this beautiful community. So on this wonderful day, we salute you, Ms. Pascal. May you continue to inspire all those you encounter with your unwavering spirit and your love for life. A century and still at the crease, 100 years of a life well lived, of laughter shared, and of love multiplied. Happy 100th birthday. We wish you many more as the Lord will permit. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. At this time, you know, I, Mr. Kispima, you remember in Latin and Fifi, the social leaders. You know, because I can remember before, today I have to invite her here as a centenarian. But in the past, I used to bring her on stage as a performer with the Social League. All right? And the Social League, she helped to make me the MC that I am <laughs> over the years. So, we have gone along. So, at this time, I just want to call on Miss Josephine. Pascal Malfifi to tell us what we should do to get to 100. Because I'm, I'm looking out to get to 100.
Lieutenant Commander Gonabe? Here. Gonzalez? Here. Heron? Here. Lieutenant Commander Jacobson? I think he he's might. at the NRC. That's okay. Um, Karyuki? I see Karyuki just joined. Um, Ko? So, McGriff, McGriff, McIntosh, McIntosh, Navas, Navas, Ofe, Worm, Chief Ortega.
Chief Ortega ran to the NRC for yes. some scheduling. That's right. Um, Ozog. Ozog here. Phillips. Uh, NRC. Pintor. I think he's Pintor, having he issues. just messaged saying he's struggling to get back on here. Okay, copy that. Thank you, Senior. Lieutenant Commander Porter. Um, Reynolds. Reynolds. Robinson. At the NRC. That's right. Um, Rosas Mario. Rosas. Strandberg. Strandberg. Senior Thorson. Senior I. Chief Wade. Present. Chief Weber. Is he at the NRC still? I'm guessing. And then Mikulski's. Here. And Young. And of course, Antifi Finn. All right. Antifi Finn. So that is our muster. Um, did everyone get a chance to see the hit list for the political activities training that I put out? In the all hands chat. My mother. Are you doing training sorry, on this? Or? Yes. Um, so whoever's on the hit list, I was going to have mother, stick around if after lunch. Like today, she would have been 102. Um, My father. After we're done with muster, and, and I was going to. His brother. If he was alive, he would have been 102 as well. So I'm looking forward to being a centenarian. That's something that I've already spoken to God about. But you see, Maybe, um, living a long life. I'm sorry. Um, I did mine. So I emailed you the certificate. Something uh, do I still need a, a stick around for that? No, I saw that. Thank you. And okay. um, there are many would, would scriptures you in the Bible that remind us that this is a promise that God um, has made. Let me pull it back up. But here it is. It starts with the young. All right. All right, so for the training. Connect. 
Je dis, moi, je suis certain, ou content, ou content, ou content, ou content, ou fait grand homme et puis grand femme. Et avec plus de plaisir, ils sont en famille, ils sont tous ensemble. Oui. Avant moi, arrêtez. Moi, je voulais dire un dernier petit mot. Où ça, moi, je ne vais jamais entendre une pièce qui dit Où tu es jamais gros <rire> Mais, je dis, nous allons célébrer pour ça. Où il y a 100 années. Ce n'est pas d'un ce n'est pas pour les sans ce n'est pas ça ou manger. Mais absolument, c'est la grâce montée. C'est lui qui va en bonne santé. C'est lui qui mettait la paix et puis Dieu vous dit à Dieu. Bible a dit Dieu béni. Là où tu veux sagesse, mon Dieu. En la main de lui, il longe la vie. Richesse et puis l'on est en la main gauche. Je dis, nous tous qui sommes bravo là. Antififine, moi aime voir. Je suis content de voir. Nous tous aimons voir. C'est bien, ouais. Quoi à Dieu et puis toute la foi. Les nous cadeaux, celle ça nous a dit, c'est wow. A nous tous les voués. Oui. A nous tous les bravo. Bravo. A nous tous célébrer. A nous tous célébrer. Mon fifin, anti-fifin, when grand fond. When grand fond. Où il est en s'en aller. Sorry. So, this time, ladies and gentlemen, we heard from Mr. Jules Pascal. We're not going to hear from Antonelli.
and the pray that everyone gets home safely. Finally, <laughs> thank you to all those who have been visiting her and speaking to her, at least greeting her, and always, usually they have a group, always pass around in Grand Corner, this one place I love, of a place I love. Usually you go from home to home knowing that the person is sick, but you go to visit the person, especially on a Sunday or even during the week. And I think this is something that causes them to have that um, and longevity and the being alive for a long time. Knowing that you know, people will come in, it's true their family there, but somebody will pass and visit. So sometimes they do look for it. So I just want to give God thanks for everything. I want to thank God for each and every one in this place. And I, I appreciate everybody who take time off at this opportunity, at this time, to have that celebration with my auntie. I thank you. Thank you, thank you. In the balance. <laughs> so at this time, we will call on Mr. Alex Stevenson. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm very recognized the presence of the excellent CC and the good and the Honorable Dr. Cassandra Williams, Honorable Retro Roberts, and all the other invited guests today. Um, <coughs> On behalf of the entire Stevenson family, I want to congratulate my dear aunt, Auntie Fifin, for this milestone. It is with mixed emotions that I speak here today because her sister, she was very close to it was her short of two months to be here to celebrate with her. But I am not tempted by this feeling because I know she's there in spirit. And I'm, I'm very happy to know that she can celebrate with us spiritually, together with all of our siblings who have gone to rest. And as you heard, my cousin Joe spoke of, or it was Dr. Cassandra who spoke of, nine of them who have, who have passed, but they're all of us celebrating this moment. We know that, and um, Pastor Joe's I'm sure you correct me on that. Very forcing spirit. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for this moment to be there with Auntie Fifin. And now I understand why she has made it thus far because I've never seen my Auntie in a black mood. Never. Always smiling, always so composed. Amen. And I, I really now understand. And we, all of us will, will to be asking what would we do to have a long life. It's just relax and live life. Yeah. And, and I understand it well. <coughs> and and Auntie Fifin, from what I understood, it took me a very long time to put that together. The month passed when they were all very young, or my parents was. And I, I remember they told that my mother was eight years old. It means therefore that Auntie Fifin was 17. So, therefore, she took care of all her other siblings. So, if you see that love that she extended to her other siblings and the care that she had for them, we just brought her to date to that long life so that we could now all celebrate. And I'm so happy to be there. And for your wonderful family here sitting at the head table, I want you to continue to show love. I want to really reach out to you. Give up all the love that she deserves now before it's too late. Okay? The rest of all the Pascal family, we have to understand, we have to understand and appreciate what is family. And let us all be together and show love to each other. But it's all done. Okay? So again, I want to take this moment to tell Auntie Fifin congratulations on your 100. Auntie, looking at me? Look at me, Auntie. Okay, congratulations to you, and I wish you many more years to come. Auntie Matilda, you are not forgotten. 
Yes. And I know that all the focus is on anti today, but we're looking forward to you bringing us here in about six, eight, or seven years time to celebrate your hundred. Okay? And we all be there again celebrating another century and in grand form. Once again, thank you all for coming, celebrating with us. And I wish everybody a very, very good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stevenson. We're trying to move on, and I think we're getting there. So at this time, I want to call on Clarissa to move on a little bit. Clarissa.
Thank you, everyone, and go enjoy your day. Thank you. And we now call on Janaya. Good afternoon, everybody. Let me just recognize the presence of Madam President Silva Ibizin and her husband, Honorable Cassandra Williams, Honorable Greta Williams. Robert, sorry. Robert, sorry. Well wishes, family, and friends. All of you have spoken about anti but I'm going to speak about my fun memories of anti -Fifin. I'm a big girl now anti fifin but I was raised in your love. I was raised in Jonah L. And that is the only person besides my great grandmother who is this is that can pronounce my name wrong. And I would get upset. And maybe Shana I what she says, Jonah L. Okay? Anti Fifin and Granny Melanie shared a very close relationship and I was witness to that. I was raised in your love. Their love made me who and what I am today. Auntie Fifi, I have fond memories of me coming over when I smell lentils boiling because I know I need to get a good lunch today. Auntie Fifi would share one wing between Jerry and Jamie, F, you know myself, and give me food like I had six weeks. And I smell food. I don't know how she did it, but she did it and she made it happen. Don't even talk about Auntie Fifi, famous purple juice in that aluminum cup. And anytime I sell an aluminum cup, I say, oh, I want to drink it. Auntie Fifi would always say, Maji Maji, we have Maji, Apo Maji. Auntie Fifi, boy, so much memories. I remember washing your hair for you, we going on the back step. We didn't have a shiver, we didn't. I was living, I didn't know what I was doing, but she used to tell me, pass your auntie, pass your auntie, just pass your auntie, but you pass your auntie, it'll be good. You know, and Auntie Fifi would always give me good advice and tell me, you know, always be a good girl, always take your books, your books seriously, always listen to your mother, you know, and I enjoyed being around them because it was just the love. The love was there, always there. Um, Auntie Griffin, if Granny was here today, your sister Melanie, we would have made it good. Nani Wine Long would have been six times because you all would be dancing together. Nani Wine. That was your favorite your, your sister. And we cannot forget Auntie Matilda. Auntie Matilda, I was just, I, I cannot say anything for them because I can tell you, being raised in their love was. One of the most amazing things that has ever happened to me as an individual, even in my job, that showed me how to be compassionate towards one of each other. So I'm not only grateful for your milestone, but I want to tell you I appreciate you and everything that you have done, all the love you have given, all the nurturing you have given, keeping the family together, even if we may have all these disagreements, but keeping the family together, that all of us could be here today. Granny would have loved to be here today, I can tell you that. But what had other plans? Until stay in was love, and I still want you to see plenty more years because I'm the first of your great grand, I'm your great grand niece, but I'm your first ever great grand anything. And I want to give you your first great great grand anything. Maybe in the future, but you never want to. What's love? And I wish for once Matilda to see her all drive good with us. No? Yes. So enjoy everybody and have a good time and let us just celebrate because this is life and and feel out to me feel love. Feel our love and we need to show it to me because that is what we grew up knowing. All of us have it to know. So we'll show it to you. We'll show it to you. Maybe she maybe can stand and tell everybody thank you. We will thank you and we appreciate you for coming. Madam President, your husband, um, Mr. Roberts, Ms. Williams, even your officers. Thank you and we wish you both speed and blessings on your way back. And just enjoy yourself, enjoy the ambience, enjoy all families. Thank you. And I must add, there is never a dull day run for. There is never a dull day run for. At this time, I want to call Baron, Mr. Jeremy Matthew. Good afternoon to everyone. On behalf of my wife, we please stand because I really want to be able to know. Let's do a wave your hand. And my children, grandchildren, <laughs> I would like to thank and I would like to congratulate first the good God for taking Mama to that distance. The glory be to God. All the praise, all the glory belongs to God. Amen. Even before Mama arrived at that age, Two years ago, that I didn't um, answer, and then my friends would tell, I would let them know that 
two years time, I'm going to Dominica to celebrate Mama's hundred birthday. It's all about faith, faith, it's faith. And I know them, my cousin, my cousin spoke about their Mama and the things that she did, but there's much more to add to it. Mama, since I raised with Mama, I'm 16 now. I've never once heard a bad word come from my mother. Never. Never, never. Now, love life is not all about what you eat and what you drink. It's about God. And contentment. The word of God says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. And Mama was always contented. She raised up without a husband, five of us, and she had to remove the first one out of school to look about the others, almost before time to look about the others. So she really played a great part in her life. She never had a husband, she never, we never had no one before that, but she went through these years very good. So, I also want to thank God. That's why we give God the glory for Mama today. So, I want to say happy birthday, happy 100th birthday, Mama. Happy, happy birthday to you. There are times when the auntie girl, I will call her and she says, whenever she hears my voice, she feels some strength. Yeah? And Mama is here today. And she is so happy that I'm here. So happy. She's so happy that all her, her, her kids around her, her grandkids, and she feels so, so, so great. So, Mama, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for all that you've done for us. And we are here with you to continue to celebrate it. And those of you who are here, genuine friends, you are here, continue to celebrate that day with Mama. I thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Baron. That's his name, man. Baron, that's how we do it. <laughs> um, we just want to recognize the presence of Mr. Angel. Lawrence, representative of the Dominica Council on Aging, is the president. I think it is just fitting that we ask him to just share some short remarks. Mr. Lawrence. And I want to tell you that a hundred years, if 
multiply by 100 by 365. I multiply by 365 by, by, by 24. And you keep on adding, you will find that you have numbers that cannot say anything. But today, we have to recognize that the Omnica produces not just great people, but people who are resilient. Persons who go through life and despite of the challenges of life, still end up as some people who we have to talk about. So I want to say that the council agent is going to keep very, very close to you. This is Mr. Pascal. We are going to make sure that you get all what you deserve. And we are going to make sure it's not just today, but just this moment. But as long as you have become 100 years, we at the Dominican Consolation consider you a gem. And you know what's a gem? A gem is a precious metal, or a precious stone, and something that you just kind of rub off like this. So she has joined our, 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 one of the members of our family. And you know what happened? Right now, just yesterday, just two days ago, we celebrated another centenarian in Rosso. But she happens to be the 13th as a special lucky number. The 13th person who became a centenarian as a life today. The one who we did it two days ago was the 14th. So give the 13th lady a special number. So you, if you want to play, if you want to play the, the, the lottery, ask her number. Her lucky lottery should be your number to play the lottery. And you must win, you must win, you must win. So I want to say, I don't want to take the stage, but, not, but, but the constant agent would always like to tell you, we will always be there for you, we will always be there to advocate for you, we will always be there to ensure what's in now here, what's in our sin, and what's in our shoes. Not just a wasin, a wasin is a root, is a root below the soil. But so that shoes you bear for. So the children you have given for, you have born since you must have a shoes. Yeah. So, so make sure, we want to make sure that you that those who have left me and those who brought to this world continue your legacy. And I had just I was just in I was just in time to hear Baron talk about what you did and what you did and, and all the good things you did. But Baron and them and the rest, it's your choice now to continue that legacy. And that is very, very important. I also want to take this time off to congratulate the person who contributed to, to, to this, this past campaign 100 today. It takes a community, it takes a village to build up a child. But then to make up, to bring somebody to 100 years, it takes more than that community. She has fathered and mothered and she has been the auntie, she has been the nanny, and all what you could think of to many people in the community. But I'm, I'm sure the community gave back something to make her look how she is today. Look at her. She looks like somebody who looks like somebody who's in trouble. Does she look like somebody who can't wear me No, she doesn't look like this. So that is to say the community took part, took care, took care of her, and also her immediate family members. So give yourselves a round of applause for her. And I don't want to steal the show, but I want to tell you, I am sure the Honorable Parliamentary Representative and Minister will tell you some of the benefits that you are entitled to as a centenarian. But we are the Council of Agents, we ensure, we have to, we, our job is to ensure all the benefits that you are entitled to, we put the paperwork to ensure that you enjoy it. Okay? The, 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 the increase in, in allowance, the gasoline, the water, the electricity, all, and, and the free and the free cooking gas will be getting from Metro Caribbean. All these things are things that we at the council of agents will ensure that every month you get what is entitled to you as our special aid. So around that time I don't want to be too much of your time, I want to call my son here to just bring me a little gift I got. I brought a little gift from you, um, 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 I, I want to tell you, I brought this little thing from you for, for you, which comes from, you see, we, we, we want you to put your hands on it. Where's the camera? So the camera will see. All right, now this is something that every person who becomes a centenarian, there's a company called ESA Trading that went into an agreement with us, and everybody who's a centenarian in Dominica will receive uh, a hamper like this on Christmas, on other birthday, and on special days. Or this centenarian. So, Madam, 
Hadi bir bu diyar zaten. Yani bu şey var. Okay, this is given to you from from um, Easter trading through the Dominican Council on Aging. And I'm going to tell you in the month of the ending on the 22nd of this month, we are celebrating the 21st sorry of this month, we are celebrating Centenarians Day. And on the 23rd of this month, we are going to come to you with another 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 um, food hamper. This time coming to you, compliments J. Aster Fancy Company. So we're going to come back and see you, and we'll bring with us our special patron, Prince Wallix, who's going to come there and get a little mala. Well, Alex, we'll come up. We'll see what the guy can do to us. I know we'll have to get a little sack of mala. So Prince Wallix will be here with you. So thank you very much for having me. And let us celebrate. And let us continue to celebrate. And thank you. And I'm going to say, 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 Okay, thank you very much. All right, from the Committee of Aging. So at this time, it's an honor to ask, I feel real honor because my former colleague, it's an honor to invite the President to say a few words. of the hour, the lady of the day, and the lady of the years to come, Ms. Josephine Pastor. I'd also like to recognize, of course, Dr. Williams, who is the Minister of Responsibility for, for Persons who are, we call centenarians, as well as, of course, your padre, who now has the responsibility with Dr. Williams to ensure that Ms. Pastor is well taken care of. I also want to recognize, sometimes we forget, but I want to recognize in our presence, Mr. Stevenson, Ivo, my friend. I want to recognize him here today. And um, also, you know, John always, John is always everywhere. He is such a wonderful human being. You know, he comes everywhere to help to celebrate. And it's a short time since I was in Grand Form for the, for the church feast. And John was also there. But today, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about Miss Pastor. Someone I didn't know, I saw her for the first time in church today. And I said to myself, what a humble lady. No wonder she's a hundred years and going. I believe, based on what I saw in church, that she's one who has great respect and faith in God. And this, I think, is one of the essences that we must put in our lives in order for us to get to 100. Many people want to get to 100. I don't know if I want to get to 100. <laughs> but faith in God and respect for God is something that we really have to cherish. And I looked at her in church. When we were standing, she was standing too. You know she's 100 and she should be the only person sitting. But she was standing in church with reverence for God. And this is something that we have to look at, brothers and sisters. When we see somebody get to 100, and we want to get to 102, it, as was said earlier, it's not all about the food, but it's the things that we do. If we have a good heart, maybe we will not have all the pressure that we have, the high blood pressure that we have in our communities. And you look at her, you see a smile on her face. It says to you that this is somebody who has a warm heart. She is at peace with herself and with others. Hence the reason why she's celebrating 100. And I whispered in her ears, I think you can achieve another 100. <laughs> I don't know by the grace of God, but God alone decides. 
But definitely, I see her as somebody who can continue for quite a long time and maybe break the record. Let Grandma break the record for the oldest centenarian in all of your people. Today is her day. Yes, we celebrate today. And I'm happy that the whole of Grandma is here today with her. But I also want to say congratulations to her family members, those who are close to her, those who are keeping her occupied. Because sometimes when our elders are old, we tend to forget them. We do not come and sit with them and listen to what they have to say so that they can share their experiences with us. But she is someone I am certain that if you come, she will have a good conversation with you. So from today, all of Grand Four must take the responsibility to ensure that Miss Pascal is properly taken care of. That somebody comes to speak with her, somebody ensures that she does the things that she has to do. And if she wants to go out to weed, she may not be able to hold the cut glass, but do not tell her you shouldn't do it. Maybe you shouldn't stand with her. Maybe you can stoop with her and pull the grass with her and make her feel accomplished because this is, these are some of the things that they want to do, even if they're old. I recall my dad, he had this man take this little bench for him, small little bench, and he would sit one side with his cut glass and remove the grass around. He would pull the bench and he would remove the grass again and he would go and he would be surprised to see the amount of work he would do. So really and truly, it's a matter of cherishing them when they're elderly, cherishing them, giving them the, all the love and care because there's not much else that you can give to them. But just to give them the care that they require and to ensure that their daily living is done in a wonderful way. So today, Ms. Pascal, on behalf of the Office of the President, I really want to congratulate you. I want to hear that you are going 101, 102, 103, 104, until you, your sister gets to 100 and you will now be 106. All right, so congratulations, and I wish you all the best. Again, I want to congratulate the family members, and I want to encourage the community to be a community who stands with Miss Pascal. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you, Your Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just ask you, we're going to have a performance by a political program, a performance by Social Aid. As you know, my family was a member of the Social Aid. And they are going to do something for her. And your program says after that would be continent of the cake. But I want to ask you that after the performance, we'll be doing presentations of baskets and what have you. Okay, and they, just before we call on social aid, we we'll ask the president. The president wants to present something to our centenarian, Your Excellency. Let me also inform you, those of you who have to do presentation after the social day, you will do your presentation, okay? And after the presentations, we will do the cutting of the cake and the toast, okay? Thank you very much. So at this time, I want to call on, I mean, that is a group.
we have always admired the brand for the social link. I mean, they don't think about any technical on the beef. Some have already passed, but then those who are still living, they always want to call on social link. They'll do something. So we have two members of the former members of the social link. Senior, senior members of the social link, she said. So they're going to do a little performance on behalf of Mafifi because Mafifi was the star in creating social link, you know. Welcome to the concerts we used to have. Mafifi was the star. All right. So, social link, take it away.
that was always the social engineering. Just come to you and just come and give us a big show. I remember the other day because I used to bring them on stage. <laughs> yeah, that was the social engineering. That's the feel of how it used to be in the 70s. And that's a group that are very shaped. A lot of people have run for social engineering. Two people who mentioned Madame Lou Forestry. They are also centurions, but they are gone. Yeah. All right? So, so at this time, as I said, those of you who want to do your presentations, so you can do it now, and then we will be closed, and then we also buy good information. The president has to go to a function, so she may just give us. We will hope that she could be there. Right through, but she can. She has another function, so she, she knows when she has to leave. I'm just telling you that she will when you want to present because she has another function to attend to. So, those of you who have presentations to make, that is the time you can do it. in line is the Grand for Village Council, Jefferson. On behalf of the Grand for Village Council, I present this gift to you. We do hope that God will continue to bless you, show his blessings upon you, and I do hope that we have you celebrate another 10 more years with us. Yes. So once again, we love you and we promise that we will always be up for you as, as our chair of the village. Okay? Anybody else? Okay. So I think we're there. We're going to have now um, the cutting of the cake and the toast. Got it more program. We're going to see the lunch is being served, so we may just have to forego that for a while. Just get the toast and eating at the same time. So the organizers you have to advise me on that one. I think the wine is for the toast. Are we going on the toast wine? Wine. Okay, because every table has a wine, so alright, we can do we need toast. A cutting on the cake can more probably put it low lower. Okay, organizers. All right, we'll do the toast. I suppose all all the tables have the bottles to do what you have to do and then.
And so we are here celebrating with me is Josephine Pascal, my Fifi out of Grand Fond. She is celebrating her 100 years. We want to wish her many more years to come. And what you can see here, her mem family members and friend, friends are celebrating this uh, huge milestone with her this afternoon. So we ask that God will continue to protect her and grant her many more years. Yes. Earlier on, she said thanks to everyone for being here. She speaks, she hears, she is uh, still filled with uh, lots of life in her. And we have the entire community of Grandfa here celebrating with her, as well as the uh, president of Dominica, her husband, the Pal Rep. other ministers of government. So folks are having their lunch. Later she'll be cutting her birthday cake. And that joke uh, sweetened her. She is laughing uh, and enjoying that special joke. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, we're going to do the toast now. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, for let's just raise the glasses. On behalf of Murphy Phil, a hundredth birthday, for a long life, good health, and many more years to come. Hip hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip hip! Hooray! All right, thank you very much. So cheers to more Fifi and cheers to 50 more. So we are going to be taking a short break and we will resume our broadcast after lunch. We thank you all for joining us and we will be right back. For your information, the next, it is not right now, but the next item will be the cutting of the cake, okay?